Hello, and welcome to the weekly update brought to you by The Spectator. I'm Evan Fox. And I'm Pedro Acevedo. For the next week, the W is keeping a fast eye on its history and the bright woman and man who have made it remarkable. Homecoming is right around the corner, and this year, the university is proud to be honoring the class of 1965 during its 50th reunion with its traditional Golden Girls alumni lunch. The W will also celebrate the 25th anniversary of the AKA Pi Theta chapter with a dinner on Friday. Homecoming festivities will last four days from the 26th to the 29th, and some other events will include a silent auction, a W5K, and a performance by the Columbus Coral Society. For a full list of events and information on registration, head to the S Spectator homepage at muwspectator.com. Also coming up next week is a joint exhibition being put on by the W's Department of Art and Design. The W's Alumni Invitational Art Show features works from alumnus Anisha Beliasing, Shirley Boudreaux, Kathy Daly, Jill Hames, and Jill Chauffe, all W alums. The reception for the exhibition will be Friday, March 27th, from 4 to 6.30 p.m. in the Eugenia Summer Gallery. And running alongside the Alumni Showcase will be the Interactive Memories of the W Showcase, featuring photographs and postcards from university archives presenting W life at different times through history. That showcase will be presented in Gallery B. For anyone interested in education outside of the classroom, the W's Life Enrichment Program has begun its second semester, which will run through April 24th. Designed for the lifelong student, the program is open to anyone over the age of 18. Registration is $35 for up to five classes, and though the volunteer teachers are experts in their field, the courses offer no academic credits. Courses are designed to be fun, quirky, and informative, and topics range from Spanish for travelers to football for women. For more information and full course listings, go to the W's Life Enrichment page at muw.edu forward slash LEP. Also in the vein of extracurricular education, the university is proud to be hosting two very special events next week. On Tuesday, March 24th, the Department of Music will be hosting a faculty recital with Dr. Richard Montalto in Poindexter Hall. The event is free and open to the public, so don't miss out. Then on Thursday, March 26th, the Ina E. Gordy Honors College is proud to present, as part of the Neil P. L. Wolf Lecture Series, Arsalan Iftikhar. Iftikhar is a human rights attorney, senior editor of the Islamic Monthly, and author of the best-selling and award-winning novels such as Taking Back Islam and Islamic Pacifism. Iftikhar has appeared on CNN, Fox News, C-SPAN, and more. His written work has been published in USA Today, Time, Newsweek, and Rolling Stone, just to name a few. His presentation will be at 6 p.m. on Thursday in Poindexter Hall. Now to catch up on some news from this semester. The W's mock trial team competed this February in the Jackson Regional Tournament. The team was able to beat both Mississippi College and Tulane's University A teams while winning more ballots than the University of North Alabama, Auburn University C team, the University of Mobile, Tulane, and both of the University of Mississippi teams. Making its victories all the sweeter is the fact that the W's mock trial team has only existed for two years now, and the university's very own Bryn Bailey walked away with the award for best attorney. Congratulations, Bryn, and to the rest of the team for your outstanding performances. This year's international series has focused on Spain, featuring speakers on Spanish language and culture, a flamenco demonstration, and a workshop and lecture recital on Spanish guitar, which was presented this past Tuesday. This year's series has been a great success thanks to the dedication and passion of the educa educators involved. And there's still one more event to come. On Monday, April the 13th, the series will be completed with Off the Beaten Track in Madrid, presented by the university's own Dr. Blanca Simons Diaz, professor of biology and former resident of Madrid. For more information about this particular event or about the series as a whole, navigate to the series Facebook page for more. For the weekly update, I'm Pedro Acevedo. And I'm Evan Fox. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everyone.